recording now. Hello. We are Hi. recording. This is our first short story uh, work session recording attempt this year. Isn't it? Yep, I think so. And it's February. <laughs> it's February. I, I dare say we have fallen off the wagon a bit. <laughs> but we're, we're attempting to get back on the wagon mm -hmm. with the uh, Trials Destiny story. It is not going to be easy because what we're facing here is some old, old text. And we have ma we have been able to divide this old old text into scenes or sections, but I think uh, no, we we can't keep any of the original text. Basically, no. Let's let's just let's just state that we're not gonna keep any of this. We just need to pick out what are the ideas to hold on to. Uh, and uh, and just keep those and grow new text around them. <laughs> and also, this text here shows some of the uh, cringy writing of yesteryear, <laughs> which uh, I think now makes us both cringe. Yep. Yep. Oh yes. <laughs> Sweep it. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> there are several things that trigger my cringe factor, and one of them is now sweeping generalizations. <laughs> um, and I seem to make a lot of those in old stories, and it's no good, mate. Um, but that's just one of the many things that makes me cringe about my old work. But we're going to fix all that. That's. <laughs> That's yes. why we're here. <laughs> yes. We're going to fix it all. <laughs> and everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you seem to have come down to the uh, borer section. I'm guessing all this uh, highlighted orange stuff is the old text. Oh, it's all old text. And right now, uh, I'm slightly worried here because I can't see any of the new text. Do we have any new text here? Did we get to it? I, I mean, think what we've done is just uh, spell out the scenes. Okay, what needs to we... be happening? Yeah, I don't think we wrote any new text just yet. Mm, okay. There might be sporadic clumps of it here and there. Okay. Because, yeah... Uh, a lone reclaimer made her way from overgrown flora does not will not stand in my book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the descriptor on the world. Uh there's this is notes on the world, not the description. Grown did not come out nearly as dramatic as I intended. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make like a proper like, why, why, <laughs> por qué? <laughs> oh, hang on. <coughs> By the end of the scene, we shall learn why she's here and what is the goal of her being here. Simple, yay. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, task number one, pick out any possibly useful stuff from, uh, from any given line or sentence and delete the rest. Not de let's not even use markers, just keep a fragment, a sentence, half a word and delete the rest. Okay, so I'd, I'd choose to get rid of this, but the she, this whole stuff about setting her course by a fierce river, turbulent waterfalls, I quite like that description. So, I'm going to get rid of this stuff about Lone Reclaimer. Okay. 
fact, I could probably just get rid of this because overgrown flora is also quite a good descriptor. Uh, no, no, we just get rid of it. Yes. All right. Flora is the. Oh my God, these birds are are cool. Uh, flora is the sort of sciency or overarching term about uh, the planty biomass. When used well, it can evo invoke a good uh, image, but when you say overgrown flora, it just comes off as trying to be smart ass in the wrong place. It's kind of lazy. To me, yes. Okay. Um, this is a sweeping. Or not even a sweep. This is. This is just wrong. Yeah. We don't even know what the usual reclaimer mold is. Uh. Oh, hang on. Get rid of all this and just make a note about markings. Yeah. This. Yeah, I, f I think it's easier for us to come up with a proper description when the old text is not in the way. Besides, we are so familiar with this material that we know it anyway. And even if we didn't, it is... Uh, it is... Uh, um, the text is available elsewhere. Mm-hmm. We don't even need do we we don't even need to describe our air colour. We don't. No. Uh and I came up with a very useful guideline uh when it comes to in world uh descriptors of anybody. So the gui guideline number one would be the don't profile or like describe, don't profile, uh, as in our current world shorthands for ethnicities will not apply to anybody ever anyway. Mm -hmm. So if if we if we take that as an assumption, uh, this will mean that if you are going to be specific about somebody's appearance, you're gonna have to specific about everybody. Uh, but uh, uh, an extension of this would be that uh, whenever not explicitly described, you can't uh, you can't assume the given uh, ethnic mix of any character. So this is this is like the reader side of it. Right. And oh. and and to extend it uh, even farther, so when it comes to uh, people's orientations and uh, brain builds and whatever, uh, unless explicitly described, you cannot uh, assume the given sexuality or uh, or whatever mental side so it's like everything is kind of open unless it's mm -hmm. uh, unless it's uh, explicitly desc described <coughs> that sort of stuff creeps up on me as well mm -hmm. when I was writing Cal de Vaza, it turned out one of the characters used to, uh, Isaac used to have a husband and that was completely out of the blue but it made his character a thousand times more interesting uh, it just it made things feel more real. Like, of course, this is going to yeah, be a thing. Yeah, but that's that's not that's not what I'm saying. 
I'm saying that if you mean to if you if you mean some character to be uh, a specified whatever then you have to actually say it yeah but if you have not specified it then that then that character can end up whatever so it's like uh, if you are not giving any specific uh, descriptors it does not mean that the character follows any uh, given default it just means that you have not given descriptors mm -hmm. so it's, it's like uh, in a way it's liberating but this also means that uh, unless you actually have specified it you can't assume that uh, oh it's gonna end up that way basically we, d we, we don't know our characters very well <laughs> that's what it boils down to yeah, when it comes to Destiny, the whole thing used to be like she was unique. She had different coloured hair, all this and that. That doesn't that doesn't fly anymore. Nope. So until <clears throat> unless it be, un, I think unless it becomes like un, unless it comes out naturally in the text, we might have to come back and do something regarding this, or just leave it open and up to the reader's imagination for Destiny. There's also an element of the, like the things she's doing, like would would lend it to being quite an athletic build person. So things like what she's doing in the text also lend themselves to describing her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there is a whole other uh, thing here is that uh, nowhere so far has it been established who or what is a reclaimer so you would actually have to somehow put that part together as well so partially we can do that in split personality and partially here but these information bits have to link up in such a way that it uh, it adds to sort of one solid piece of world building. Mm-hmm. Okay, what are these birds eating? Are they... It's, it looks as if they are picking up snow from the branches. <laughs> delicious, <laughs> delicious <laughs> snow. Or, or maybe they're eating lichen. <laughs> Times is hard for the birds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the thing, thing is that uh, uh, behind my window there is this uh, horse chestnut tree, and I don't think usually birds don't uh, don't frequent it that much. I mean, they they are going to the spruce instead, but then uh, there are these uh, migratory flocks that come here 
in winter and I think they are, they are coming here from farther up north uh, and their their usual conduct is that they they go to this uh, one of these trees that uh, has uh, red berries it's like a little bit similar to Rowan but not not exactly they the whole flock gets up there they munch up all the berries <laughs> like <laughs> 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 then the whole flock moves to the next tree, preferably above somebody's car, <laughs> and then <laughs> they poop it all out. <laughs> so this nice. is like a, a winter event, <laughs> and uh, and because they don't know that birds don't frequent this tree, the whole flock is is flocking behind my window, and mm -hmm. it's super interesting. <laughs> right, so world <coughs> bird watch with the editor. Yeah. What is reclaimers? <laughs> that's, that's the that's the note. <coughs> I th I think it's obvious, right? That we're we're getting back into this. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, yeah. I know we said it at the beginning, but from judging from the workflow, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all this stuff about Raik being a messed up shithole, uh, major continents, all that stuff. We we've, we've got other world building notes elsewhere. Yeah. So I can delete I can delete all I in fact all of this. Yes, the you can. Sec chunk that's got all the stuff about the statues can go as well. Yeah. So we we have to bring up uh we have to bring up here that she's here for the trials. Mhm. Mm Uh, she is expected to pass them or die. Mm -hmm. The transport won't come back for her until she passes. Yeah. So it's like there's two two ways off this planet. Well, if she <laughs> dies or if she passes the gauntlet. <laughs> uh, why this place? And it's like, uh, uh right, blah, whatever. <laughs> is that in an unstable with a set in a Blah, 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 blah. Can we just take a minute for the word habitability? Because yes. that is a beautiful word. <laughs> <laughs> Human something. No. What was that? Human something something. Space. So, what I'm getting at here is that. Uh, we are not exactly in the middle of the uh, Nova space or in the middle of the uh, of the region of space that has the systems that have been taken over by the dominant human cultures mm -hmm. So this this whole system is probably problematic in the eyes of uh, uh, in the eyes of uh, human world builders or human
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, something like this. Something uh, something that says uh, a thing about the world and how it relates to other human home worlds combined with something that contextualizes or 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 positions the reclaimers in in relation to other other humans mm -hmm. with one beautiful brush stroke look at you go <laughs> That's awesome. well the, the brush stroke will need refinement but mm -hmm. i think i think i i struck the the main idea here yeah it's awesome I love it when that happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, then I'd be moving on to yes. scene two with my deletes. And so. now the world itself. A. A. I could say a thin region, but I don't know. A. Blah, 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 um. Not exactly. I uh, this is not something I intend to settle on. But The Illustrati sound like an ancient order. Yep. The Illustrati! <laughs> <laughs> like a faction of exiled artists or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So the idea here would be that instead of saying outright that this world was such and such, we will home in on the place where Destiny is now and this place being in the middle of the uh, of the well th basically in the middle of the twilight jungles hmm. uh, just just uh, off the uh, storm region mm. and etc 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 so trying to sort of paint the picture of a tidally locked world which has a very thick atmosphere and thus has enough buffer to uh, sustain strips of, of habitability. Of course we don't we don't even know what might happen what might be going on under the ice in the quote unquote night side. There might be some secret facilities there and maybe if this world has seismic activity there could be uh, there could be uh, deep ocean uh, volcanic doodads that allow life in in the deep, but that is a matter. That is a story for another day. <laughs> that is part of. That is not part of this story. It, it might become part of uh, uh, part of a reclaimer story, the bigger reclaimer story. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is not in the scope of this story. This sounds like something that will make itself apparent in Split Personality 3. 
Hmm. So, you'll excuse me for a moment while I note this down. <laughs> yes, I will, I will add uh, notes here as well. Oh, hang on. I've got to get through the Outrunners notes and the Domino, the uh, <laughs> Harbour City notes. Okay. Facility. Got it. Yeah. Oh, you're back up at the top. Okay. Yep. So point is that uh, the habitable uh, the habitable parts of these uh, of this planet are not large. So basically, there's this sort of strip. Mm -hmm. between storms <coughs> but uh, but uh, the life within this uh, this limited region is very abundant and very lush and very sort of overgrown yeah and right now we, we won't know if and what takes place in the in the night region. Mm. Okay. Okay, so she is here to run the gauntlet to get her blessing and why here? Because this is a special place. Why is it special? Because this is where <coughs> this is where the reclaimers can do their stuff without being bothered by the dominant human cultures or like normal human cultures. Normies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that uh, whenever we bring up any contrast or any juxtaposition between quote unquote humans and reclaimers, we have to make it clear that it's not like humans versus non humans, but it instead it's uh, normal everyday humans versus somewhat enhanced humans mm -hmm. this um, so we've got these notes here regarding the planet she's here for the t oh, okay so this is already here she's here for the trials expected to pass yeah, more this, diet. Is, this is all the new stuff that I wrote today do not yeah. touch that I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where we are in the note-taking process, and we're almost having some notes for scene one, even. Hmm. I think. Um. So we could potentially move on to scene two. Yeah. Uh, li lightly, I think lightly poking at things. Mm -hmm. And coming back to them, like getting some notes down, and then coming back later. Mm -hmm. Let it let it settle. Yeah. 
Uh, so scene two kicks oh, off. Oh, scene two. We okay. Here we have some notes. I think looking at this, potentially, I think what we did was we did the seeker thing, where we were like, let's do the other other sequences first and come back to chapter one, or not chapter one, but sequence one, once we've got a better idea of the rest. Could be. Also, could you recolor the obvious new notes so that we don't get rid of them by accident? You want me to highlight them? Uh, better color them, because highlight makes it very blocky and, and harder to read. So all the new notes? Yes. Okay. Make the new notes, give, give the new notes a different text color. Hmm, any preferences? Nah. I'm gonna say light cornflower blue <laughs> one. <laughs> How's that? Oh, it's a bit too light. I can't see anything. Uh, are we even in the same place? I oh, know not this one. You don't need it. This no, you don't need to do it here because okay. here we have only the new notes. I mean, in the scene two. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because in scene two, there's I I sense a mix of new and old, which might become uh, dangerous. Oh, there's okay. So this is this is definitely good. This stuff here. So I'm gonna let's dark cornflower blue uh, one that <laughs> which dark I think is blue. I uh, by the looks of it, it seems like something where I have babbled and you have written it down. Yeah, that probably is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good. It's a good work method. I enjoy it. And the next three paragraphs seems to be new notes as well. I, uh, I wanted to quickly discuss this. This potential for us to cut this entirely because uh, a little while back, I think it was even before Christmas, we discussed the idea that she wasn't given any weapons. Uh, yeah, I think let's lose this. Okay, Whoop. goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So this can go definitely uh, uh, this is important. That doesn't necessarily need to kill them. Just incapacitate them enough to scare them off and get on her way. Uh, and the wounds she sustains here are the reason she ingests slash applies the trippy shit. So this is obviously new. Dark cornflower blue two or one, I guess. Uh, okay, Outs Okay, I think this was another. You talk, I type. Mm -hmm. Outsmart one thinks she has outsmarted them, but one requires she gets stabbity. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, maybe once she's wounded, they should run away. Oh, maybe once one is wounded. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, I got yeah. And Destiny gets roughed up. This is pretty much the key of what happens. Mm -hmm. And this is the old text, okay. And then yeah. this is the notes for Bora. Actually, uh, this is also old text. So only the boss Roseus Aromaticus is new. I thought, <coughs> I thought, I thought this had the, you know, like the wiki entry for Bora, but it didn't. So we can get rid of anything but this. Okay. So I can clear this out. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, this is Bora. Cave is right ahead now. If I just, okay. So all that shit is in there. Get rid of this. From the Shroud of Leaves, she's hidden behind on the edge to definitely assess the situation. Okay. Yeah, all of this is already covered in the notes. Mm -hmm. And also, <laughs> a lot of it is obsolete now because it's talking about her using her spear and all this and that. Mm -hmm. uh, Destiny's element of charging towards the small reclaimer. <laughs> uh, she pressed the button on her spear, get rid of it. She followed the spear in. Destiny jumped onto its head. This is all. This is all like fight scene. Remember the fight scene pre-edit Seeker mm -hmm. prison station. Mm -hmm. This is like that. Um, okay, the first one there, but it was injured, and Destiny had escaped on. Okay, that's obsolete now as well because she doesn't escape unharmed. Uh, I'm able to think straight. Staff rare. Destiny swallowed and turned towards the jump. Oh God. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, and at some point she passes out as well. Okay, well, 
Let's get rid of that. Oh, look, magic. We're down at scene three. <laughs> All the rest of that stuff was just prison station nonsense. Remember, rem it. Yeah, look. Let's just let's Wait. just go. <laughs> what, what prison station? No, I was talking about the secret prison station. It reminded me of the. Oh, okay. Pre-edit secret prison station. And it was all obsolete because it's like there was some nice touches where she wiped some of the mud off with her cloak and stuff mm. like that, you know, like some little nice things like that. I might make a note like cleans up with cloak, uh, but th this is, you know, like a little nice moment that we might be able to include. But the rest of that stuff was best forgotten. Like shell shock. Okay. <laughs> Uh yeah, scene three. Because I think a lot of it. This is this is all good here. Mm -hmm. This explains the fight. This explains where. To, okay, so it starts off. She's got across a, the bridge thing. She gets to the clearing. She sees the obstacle ahead of her. Uh, she tackles the obstacle, deals with one of them potentially, and the others run away, or or deals with both of them, whatever, and. In the process, she gets hurt, which prompts her to apply the stuff that makes her trip out more hardcore. Wow. Yes. This pleases me. <laughs> uh, what's she stabbing it with? Uh, didn't we establish that she has a knife? So, not completely unarmed, but uh, but she has been left with with just one knife. Okay, so we're yeah, cool. The shock spear is <laughs> representative of old writing I feel let's mm. say and speak no more of it it might make a comeback later like it might present itself you know like Eva sort of made a comeback in taking flight a little bit it might appear like that or it might be reworked or something I'm mm. not too sure we'll see I think where this story leads, Destiny will probably just do the best she can with whatever she can get her hands on. So. But that is that is definitely a story for another day. So, Bora has fallen. She has sustained damage. The Is this the point where the rest of the uh, Bora leave? Uh, there is no need for the rest of the Bora to leave because she sneaked past the herd anyway. So this this would be a point in scene two that uh, between uh, between her and the cave entrance, there is a herd of Bora and she's able to get past most of them, except two. Mm hmm. So what the rest of the herd does would be irrelevant at this point. Yeah. We can we can tweak the terrain in such a way that uh, that the rest of the herd is not an issue at all. So it could be that that she she made past the main clearing and then there was I don't know some extra plateau. Uh, by the cave entrance and uh, and two of the borough were on 
that plateau mm -hmm. and she had no other way than to you know enter uh, enter their their visible range or sniffing range or whatever <laughs> delicious delicious reclaimer okay um so she's she's dealt with the borer and she's got a minute to herself so she take she uses or she sees the medicine no she do, uh le okay let's leave scene free completely alone right now because the summary reads recovers she will seek out remedy that will allow her to oh, continue okay, yeah. look right. look 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 all it's it's literally all here sorry i'm uh yeah i didn't realize it was a different scene i'm not scrolled down far enough okay the mud co the mud cover replay lurched out of ah, the mud cover. <laughs> <delete. laughs> yeah. Yeah. For a few minutes you rest and gather the bears. Brightly coloured buds, all this nonsense can go. Oh, there's a thing here about the taste. Her mouth began to tingle before she swallowed. She shivered in disgust at the taste. Almost amplified, but it came with a renewed sense of energy. I think let's come let's see invent all that from scratch. Okay. Uh that's about her spear, more about her spear. Cleaning her spear. <laughs> okay. Scene three has just been completely <laughs> okay, we need to do this one from scratch. Yeah. Uh, also, I think it probably won't have to be a whole new scene. It's more like, uh, more like a an end part to scene two. Mm -hmm. But let's let's leave let's leave the numbers as they are right now. Yeah, I'm gonna pull some of these spaces up. There we go. Not too many, but enough to <laughs> stop wasting pages. Okay. Do we want to do anything with scene three at the moment, or just leave it for no, now? No, just just leave it. Okay. So scene four. Potential on the ground hardware the observers are using. Oh, okay, yeah, this is all new. So, mm -hmm. this goes blue. Where mm -hmm. are you? Corn, dark cornflower blue one. Uh, with a few randoms of destiny. Cove is also filled with something that grows. Uh, this is not, this is not the colour of cornflowers. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. They're yellow, aren't they? Cornflower? Oh. No, they are blue, but it's a different kind of blue. Oh, okay. Um, right. Different, this different saturation and different, uh, different darkness and and all that. Oh dear. <laughs> this needs to go. Uh huh. But I also need to save it for somewhere. Okay. Uh, also, uh, hang on, hang on. Let me just copy it and delete this shit that is the only relevant piece of information and even that is up for debate but this is the thing right i'm going to leave it in here so we it encourages us to have a little world building discussion about it at least okay. just a little one so that's that's my tactic here okay um where's the short story cuts though actually these are oh yeah i found it these are larger notes that really need to be saved elsewhere. Hmm. Uh, but they can go in here for now. <laughs> These are the, got the notes in here from Scribe and the Doctor, and it's like, um, do you know that place? And 16's like, fuck yeah, I am from that place. Oh, good old <laughs> notes. Um, right, they're in the cuts now, so yes. Yeah, this can go. And this this here illustrates very well uh, why I would prefer why I prefer uh, recoloring the text itself instead of using markers, because if you put the marker on, and if it's especially if it's darker, it just creates a a block that is very uh, difficult to get into and very difficult to follow. This uh, entire section here is <laughs> two people in the command deck of the ship uh, oh. basically gambling. Like one of them says, I will give you this weapon. 
Oh, like if if she dies, I will present you with my knife. Should she survive, you will give me your prize rifle and like it's bollocks about the forge and all stuff like that. So, um, goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I think uh, one day we should uh, we should make like uh, we should schedule like a special world building session where we discuss certain aspects of the reclaimer society and like mm -hmm. what places are important to them and their technology and their conduct so it might very well be that they have like certain uh, facilities of interest that are capable of creating the advanced as uh, do that but the whole Oh, there is a forge that made this weapon. <laughs> I would, I would try to steer away from yeah, that vibe. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. I see a new video series in our in our future potentially. Mm. Law, law with law and nuts, <laughs> uh, and and it's just us discussing like world building and reclaimers mm. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, man. We could have a little title slide and everything. Be, <laughs> well, profesh. <laughs> and, and jingle music. Mm. Oh yes, we'd have to get Matt to do it and just hum it, <laughs> <laughs> like he did for the podcast. Um, okay, uh, this is all good. These notes here are excellent. Uh, this is this is just in there for world discussion. Do you work somewhere to the country from walls? We will experience. I'm sure it's real. What's amazing is to find a way through. She's trying to find a way and find a break through. Stay light. Might be some annoyance and or threat and or disorientation from the screen. I like disorientation more than direct threat, mm -hmm. uh, actually. Um, so, yeah. Destiny slowly moved forward one cautious step at a time. She focused on the cave. She could hear the sharp, piercing chirps of its inhabitants. Scree. Small bird like creatures that, if disturbed, would swap. Goodbye. We need to remain quiet, so as not to. She's tripping balls too much to even properly comprehend that at the mm. moment. I think. Uh, oh yeah, look, you've already made the notes of this here. Notes, notes for later. The dark, the dark tunnel would be an ideal setting for some hallucination. My suggestion is make the whole she's tripping balls show the main threat, and the wildlife <laughs> the secondary one. Like when the hallucinogens kick in, she could easily lose track of time, surrounded objects. It's like yeah. So uh, this basically all spells out. She's too woo woo right now to even mm -hmm. consider what I was, what I had originally written. Um, oh look, and we've even got some visual effects and video notes. Excellent. I think I watched that. <laughs> Eventually, the dark tunnel comes to an end. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, how do we treat leave these? It. Okay. Leave it. Leave it as it is. These are my notes. All right. Uh, going on to scene six then. Uh, uh -huh. Destiny has made it out to the daylight and is approaching the magic ding dongs. Still not certain what she's imagining. What is real? Lovingly described the demonic visions of such and shit. Insert various obstacles and goal to the shrine itself. Uh, just a quick point, right? All these notes, this is why I think it's a good thing not to take your note taken too seriously. Mm. Because when you come back to this stuff and it makes you laugh, it breaks up not the monotony of the work, but it just gives you a, something to smile about and it makes mm. the work easier to care to. You know, so yes, other authors out there don't take your notes too seriously. I don't think. <laughs> as long as you know what you're talking about and you can write about it later, all good. Um, as she limped out into the light, she did a screw run light to follow her into the bright sunlight. Sweeping the statement, Destiny was clearly relieved to have passed through without any, earning any additional energies, but she checked her wounds and saw she wouldn't last long without medical aid or some kind. Her attention was quickly drawn to the monument at the centre of the clearing. <laughs> Look, <laughs> get out of here. Actually, I've got that level that we played in Killing Floor with like the fire pillars coming out of the mm -hmm. I think it was the Stalker map. The, I've got screenshots of that that I can dump here and it's basically... Yeah. That, is, that should be the inspiration for... Like, yeah, that's, right that's, that's what's going on. Like, mm -hmm. sort of hammy predator, alien versus predator sort of jungle shit yeah um Nux has pictures for inspiration and I will put them link them somewhere or stick them on the drive somewhere and uh, then... I think you don't have to because we we both played that level 
Oh yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, uh, scene seven. Observers comment on D's progress. Uh, do we want to do anything more with scene six? D has made it out to daylight. Uh, let it, leave it be right now. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to rebuilding all this stuff from scratch as well, so the more mm. notes we cut out, the better. Uh, scene seven, there's nothing there to cut. Scene eight. Oh, okay, this is all the stuff about the biohackers and stuff like that. Uh, like the original. Hmm. <laughs> this, the, the gene editing rebels! Yes. Uh, okay, this is old. Using the spear to lean against one small destiny hall towards the monument cautiously. It was a shrine dedicated. Okay, this is going. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here immediately. Uh, this is her, how she reacts and does a nice dance and all that. Uh, but I will make a new note here. Go on. Uh oh. Whichever way this is. <laughs> okay. I'm going to delete all this because I can summarize all this as Destiny interacts with statue slash idol. When, uh, in the original text, it was like, after she got her quote-unquote blessing, as it were, um, the uh, shrine and everything around her started to crumble and fall oh. in on her. Uh, <laughs> oh, like Indiana Jones thing. Yeah, kind of. Um, I should point out that I've never actually seen an Indiana Jones film all the way through. Uh, so, <laughs> if that was my subconscious reference, then that I didn't know about it. But... <laughs> Basically, I don't know if that's worth keeping because nah. it's at the, at the time it was just like, oh, let's include more drama and f sort of force this scene along a little bit. Like she's she's just had this blessing and oh, I don't know what to do next. Oh, what if the place caves in? Well, that would certainly <laughs> move things along quickly, wouldn't it? So that was that was my thing. And uh, or originally she climbs her way to the top and sl and falls just as the uh, shuttle's landing and they collect her and da 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 you know yeah, so no. <laughs> that's, that, not, yeah that's not there anymore yeah the drama <laughs> will have to come from within mm. it's, it has to be it has to be the genuine drama not the sort of laced the top drama it's just going through a significant change right now. So there is enough yeah, like, yeah. personal drama. Yeah, like the uh, what uh, what should provide the tension and the release here is uh, her pushing on and on because unless her whole body and brain are pushed through certain limits, her quote unquote special abilities or special part of her her being will not unlock mm -hmm. and that's drama enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's your drama right there yo <laughs> and then uh yeah it, it, <laughs> the, uh, should I blue these because they're all new notes yeah you could uh, I think at this point this Oh, hang on! No, that's that's too light a cornflower. I do not approve of this. That's corn a wilting flower cornflower. Oh yes. Okay, and then scene nine. After glow wind down, approving mumbles from orbit. D will have to wait or go to a pick. If she goes to a pickup site in yeah, my yeah, it's more head like cannon. she. Uh, I think the the story would end on on the point where uh, where she is sort of. Uh, 
uh, she has been laying down in the grass and 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 getting her strength and and she's like yeah I will I will get up soon enough the the pickup site is not too far from here or some something of that sort maybe she is oh she is uh, laying in the grass and uh, looking at her uh, her arm in the backdrop of the pink sky and observes all the uh, all the visible markings that uh, that now run across uh, her skin something like I love this. Uh, the cobalt cutting into the gold of her forearm, forearm, or something like that. Okay, that's that's maybe too hammy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it no anyway. I'm gonna put an exclamation mark there as well to show that it's hammy. <laughs> uh. Ham it up. Mhm. Mm Ham me up, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I do it, Captain. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> what's it? We're done. We're done. Look at all this. Yes. All these beautiful notes. And make the last notes. Make them not bold. Oh yeah. Not not that we, not that bold. <laughs> Yoink and oh yes, all right. Huh. We survived. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So on one hand, there's a shitload of work to be done with this material, but on the other hand, uh, there is all all this old material that now will not weigh us down. Yeah. And that's oh, that's fantastic. I, I, I deem this a same. huge success, and mm -hmm. I will end this recording here. Any last Thanks words? Thanks for watching. Yes. Catch you next time. Bye.